What's up everybody? Good afternoon. Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your Xmark Zero Turn mower. And this is the mower with the Kawasaki FX730V motor on it. So we're going to show you how to do an oil change on it. It's pretty easy. So for starters, I like to warm it up. So start it up and let it idle for about five minutes or less. No more than that or it'll get too hot and you don't want to burn yourself while you do it. So just let it warm up for maybe two or three minutes and you're good. So we're going to let that sit here and idle for just a few minutes and then we'll shut it off and I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. So obviously you're going to need the oil. So I'm using SAE 10W40. You can use SAE 10W30 for these motors as well or whatever your temperature spec is. You can figure out which one you really need by looking it up in the owner's manual depending on your temperature and location where you're at in the world what oil you should use. So you obviously need an oil filter as well and of course I'm going to put the part numbers and everything for this so if you guys have the same mower or the same motor you guys will know exactly what to use. So for the oil for the FX730 motor you need 2.1 quarts if you're changing the oil filter which you should be anyways every oil change. Just my opinion, of course. And then some optional things you will need. You need some paper towels or grease rags or something clean to keep a check and keep an eye on the oil level. As you're filling it up, you want to make sure you have the right oil level in it. You also need an oil pan of some sort or something to drain the old oil out, as well as two adjustable wrenches. Or that's what I'm using, you don't have to, but that's what I'll use and you'll see why. So, after you have your oil pan set up, and for those of you that might not know where it is, if you look at the motor, you will see where the oil fill is, you'll see your oil filter, and you should have a nice little hose that comes off, and it sits right there. That's where you want to set your oil pan up. So what you're going to do, is you're going to take this nice little hose, and you're going to put your two adjustable wrenches. You're going to grip one here, and one here, because that is a bolt that you have to crack free to allow oil to drain out. Also, one quick tip to make sure that your motor is warmed up to a good level to where you're not going to burn yourself but you'll be able to change the oil easily, check the exhaust. You should just be able to touch the exhaust without quite burning yourself, but you should definitely be able to feel that it's warm. That's how you know that the engine is probably at the right warmth temperature level anyways to drain the oil easily and get all the debris that's inside there out. Alright, so like I said, you're going to want to put one adjustable wrench here and your other here if you're using adjustable wrenches and crack it as you guys can see I've already loosened it and now what's going to happen is that's going to start to drain oil as soon as you drop that nut so you guys will get to see me and there it goes she is draining we're going to adjust that just right where I can let it go And there it goes, it's finally draining out. You guys can see it was definitely in need of it. I actually do mine early. I believe the book says 100 hours. I do mine every 80. And this oil change is actually even before that. I believe that's only 60 hours on it. So while the oil is draining on your motor, now is a good time you can gather up all the stuff that you have laying around the shop, you know, like your oil, your oil filter, and get it all ready, get it all over by the mower. So you're ready to go as soon as it's all drained out. This could be also a good time to go get a crack open a cold one, you know, drink a nice little beer or whatever your favorite beverage may be because it'll be a few minutes before it's all drained out. Alright, so after the oil is all drained out, now it's time for your oil filter. So my pro tip is you put, you know, some grease racks down here because you're probably going to make a mess when you pull that filter off. So it shouldn't be any tighter really than your hand tight. It may be tight enough where you really got to get some leverage on it. And if it's too tight, then you'll have to get an oil filter wrench to take it off. But it should only be hand tight. So you can just break the seal. You may have to use two hands to break the seal. And then take it off. And there's going to be oil in there. As you guys can see, I probably just made a mess. But there you guys go. There is going to be oil in it. So remember that, you're going to make a mess. As you can see there, I did. And then I usually like to let that sit for a minute just to let any extra oil in there drain out and we'll get some grease rags and clean it up real good like this and just get rid of all that oil because you don't want to make a big mess or you know leave your mower covered in oil. So after you get your new oil filter out of its box I recommend you put oil all around the threads and around the outside of it here if you're not going to fill it up. I don't fill it up I usually just screw it on 
and we'll let it fill up with the oil when I pour it in there to get the right level. Some people prefer to fill this up before they put it on, but I make too much of a mess. But anyways, I'm going to put oil on my finger and put it all around the threads and around the outside, which will help make it easier to get on and off and it'll lube it up better. So whenever you, next time you maintenance it, it's a lot easier. And just to show you what I mean, it's as simple as putting your finger down in there and putting it all around the threads and around the outside here. So now we're going to take the dipstick out and we're going to set it someplace clean, which I got that fancy little paper towel right there to keep it from getting dirty. And we're going to take our nice clean funnel and set it there, set it down in there. You want to make sure it's all the way down in there so you don't make a mess. And now we're going to put the oil in. So I know it'll take at least two full quarts, so we're going to start with the first one and pour it all in. Watching down in there to make sure it doesn't overflow. As you guys may be able to tell, it does come up pretty fast. Usually leave each one set in there like that so I get every last drop out of there. Almost every last drop. So I just poured the second one and I stopped just before the bottom there anyways. I'm going to let that all settle down and make sure that the oil gets all down in there and in the oil filter. And we're going to start checking the level with it to make sure that it's not going to get overfilled with pouring two full quarts in there because sometimes I've noticed where mowers they do call for you know 2.1 quarts but it actually only may take 1.9 or maybe two quarts exactly so you always got to check it when you start getting close to the end so you don't overfill it so then you just reinstall it by putting it on and spinning and remember once it starts getting tight just take your hand and give it one good turn and make it hand snug and that's all you need it doesn't have to be super tight so after you've added the oil now it's time to check it and you guys can see right there oh, let me try and get it to focus in on it for y'all I don't know if it can focus but you guys know where the bottom of those four holes are that's the add and then above it's too much and it won't focus in on it but this one does say do not screw the dipstick onto the threads which means you just put it in, don't spin it or thread it on, and pull it out, and you'll check the level there. And you can see that mine actually looks pretty good. Now, one pro tip for you guys is to let that sit for a few minutes, because the oil will finally settle down and level out, and you may still have to add more. So definitely be patient when it comes to checking the oil level. And if you need to add oil, add oil. And do it very slowly at that point, once you get that much in there, because you don't want to have to take drain anything out. But... If you do overfill it, I do recommend getting a little pump, which I'll put a link to one down in the description. And it's much easier to pump just a little bit out than it is to drain it out because you'll drain too much. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.